Well, we are making a bucket mouse trap for Rebecca to put in the barn, and all the extra peanut butter is going to the dogs. <laughs> I think this is their first time eating peanut butter. <laughs> it's a hit for sure. They got it all over them. <laughs> So Rebecca's one fear in life is mice. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna, hopefully this bucket mouse trap will fill that full of water and hopefully uh, we'll get a lot of the mice in the barn. We'll just wait and see. <laughs> you guys like that? <laughs> your mouths are covered with peanut butter, Sydney. Your mouth is really covered. So if you guys haven't seen one of these bucket mouse traps before, you put this uh, some kind of a can or something on here covered in peanut butter, and you position it in a way that a mouse can get uh, kind of on the edge of the bucket. He'll try to jump onto here, and of course he'll fall off the can because it can spin and um, fall into the water and drown. And uh, you can get it's a basically it's a, a mouse trap that just keeps working. So instead of just catching one mice, you can catch several mouse in here at a time well we just got a little bit of rain and it's the end of the night um trying to put the animals up let's see uh we'll see if that uh mouse trap actually ended up working or not let's see if we found a mouse let's see if we got one in your bucket yet let's see if they found the peanut butter that's a negative no mice yet Telling you, we may need to have a diving board for the mice. She's one of my Sure, you know, yeah. interesting where there's three bowls on the ground. And Did it's like a musical know. chairs around here, the goats yes. bouncing around. Oh my god. Did you see that? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh Are you okay? You have a heart attack? Oh, this baby trying to help me. That's, yeah. Therapy. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh this baby could be a house goat. We are not having a house goat. I know, but this one is so nice. Yeah, listen at it. How many have you? Counting them? How many are there? How many eggs you got? I see one. You have to lift her up. Come on. You got too many. You can't even keep them under you. Come on, move. That's a little. Move. There's at least seven <laughs> under there, at least. Why chickens want to all lay in the same nest box? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, honey. That's all your eggs. Well, the uh, mouse trap, the bucket trap, hasn't caught any mice yet. Um, but definitely going to have to come up with some more traps because <laughs> she freaks out every time we get in the barn. Not mice. Yeah. So, you can see the sun. The sun is below the horizon, and we still got to get the, uh, the electric netting moved around the chicken tractor. You got any ideas for a uh, mice trap that works, that like, catches multiple mice? Let us know. Rebecca it would know. be interested in anything that catches lots of mice and anything that <laughs> she could empty and not have to touch the mice. It's a C-A-T. A cat. Trap. Yes, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we need. We need a cat. I know. Yeah, so um, we just can't seem to keep any around here, but we'll try to get one. Anyway, we're going to get this electric poultry netting moved we're going to wrap it around the chicken tractor to keep it 100 percent protected at night from uh, any predators so rebecca did see like right over here in the woods she did see a mink run up here during the day it ran out of the woods ran up here got tangled in the netting and flopped all around and then finally got out of it and ran back to the woods and uh, so the electric netting definitely worked and uh, we just 
during the nighttime we completely wrap it a hundred you know all the way around the chicken tractor so it's protected on all sides so You take this and hook it over there, and now they're together. All right, all done. Hey guys, how you guys doing? You guys, you guys ready to go up? <gasps> what are you doing? He is a jumper. It's crazy. He can jump all the way up there on top of that. Everything kept on getting knocked off. You see the scrub brush is on the ground. And we're wondering what was going on. And he keeps jumping up there. He is going to be very hard to probably fence in. He is a jumper. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Come on. So here's our bucket trap now. You can see... Um, we typically have mice run along the wall. So we set this up to hope, hoping that maybe a mouse would jump in there. Oh my God, there's one just walks across right when I'm filming. And um, we've got one. Um, that is one we caught a while ago. We haven't got any more in a while. So let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna get some, <laughs> oh my God, the mice around here. Here comes another one. Um, we are gonna go ahead and put some pe more peanut butter on this can. And then I've also got some peanuts. I'm going to try to stick to the can as well. It's going to be like a payday bar almost. So it's peanut butter, it's not common. So we've got the bucket trap all set back up. And you can see we spread some fresh peanut butter on there. And we actually stuck some peanuts to the can as well. I'm hoping that that's going to end up being like irresistible to a mouse. And they'll end up just taking a jump trying to get some. So... And of course, they'll end up falling in the bucket into the water and they'll drown. But um, wait and see. We've only, we've had this out here for, since last weekend. So it's been like five days or so. And we've only caught one mouse. We've had it in about three different positions. So Rebecca ended up smashing her finger in the chicken tractor the other day. I felt really bad. Um, <laughs> so the top of this I have where once it just gets over center, the chain catches it so it was really windy the other day she was feeding the chicken and it blew over and she reached in to try to catch it and it ended up smashing two of her fingers they were all swelled up last night and um, she's moving her hand around a little bit better today but I felt really bad that uh, that uh, she ended up smashing her fingers in the chicken tractor that I made so I may end up needing to move the chain a couple more links so that it leans back this way a little bit farther so maybe it's less apt to be blown over by the wind but uh, the chickens are huge right now um, and we are planning on butchering them tomorrow so it'll probably be a few days after this video but we are planning on butchering the chickens and um, they like to all huddle back in this corner together real tight at night but um yeah, last weekend they were ended up being like nine pounds was the biggest one. So these are, I mean, they should definitely be ready by this week. They were average about seven pounds last week. And uh, yeah, we'll be butchering the chickens tomorrow. That'll be fun. It's going to be a nice, rainy, cold, miserable day. And we'll be butchering chickens. So looking forward to it. Those right here, I was closing the feed thing and the wind caught this. And I think we had like 30 mile an hour gusts. And it. Shut. That is loud. Yeah, yeah. It I'm, hurt. I'm sure that really hurt her. Her two fingers, the end of her two middle fingers, have turned purple. Luckily, it was and, my left hand. Yeah, luckily, yeah, it's the hand. Her left hand's not used as much, but there's they have turned purple on the end, and they were swelled up like little balloons on the end. Yeah. All right, let's see if we got any new mice today. No, still just the same one. Ugh. Oh. Man, you really think that uh, they just want to run right up that board and try to bite at this peanut butter and these peanuts. Hmm. So the bucket trap didn't actually work out very well. Um, 
We've been kind of stretching this video out throughout the week, so it's been probably about six days now, and we've caught one mouse. Um, we would have done better if we, we've had several mice trap that we had in the front when we lived in the camper um, that we put uh, underneath the camper and compartments and stuff like that. If we would have took all those mouse traps out here. Um, we would have, I guarantee we would have caught way more mice. So the bucket trap didn't work out, uh, but I think what we're going to have to end up doing, we'll end up probably getting some barn cats. Um, everybody suggested, I think in the last video, that we need like three or four barn cats. And yes, we are on the same page 100%. So we just need to find some. Um, out here where we live, typically people end up uh, with multiple cats and stuff like that. So they, a lot of people try to give them away. Or they um, dump them. They, or yeah, the cats we've had so far are just cats got dumped in the country. But uh, we're going to have to see if we can find some free cats. I think that... Uh, the, a lot of times you do find that out here in the country. People don't fix a lot of their animals. And um, so hopefully we can we can find some. So that's what we'll be looking for. But, um, you know, if you guys do have a good suggestion for a multiple kill or a multiple catch mousetrap, leave that in the sex, you know, in the comments down below. I am not opposed to trying something else. But the bucket trap didn't end up working out um, like I thought it would. But anyway... Um, I think that's it for this video. We will be cleaning the barn out soon. It did, I mean, this barn has a ton of hay and everything all through it. Um, I'm sure that, the you know, as this is built up over the winter, that is not helping our mouse problem whatsoever. So hopefully uh, hopefully soon we're going to be building, actually we're going to be building some, some compost bins. So that's a project coming up soon. Once we build those big compost bins, they're going to be big enough that the tractor bucket can fit into it, that we will... Um, we will be cleaning this barn out and, and getting it all clean. So I'm hoping that that'll help with the mice as well. And, uh, Rebecca gave, uh, she gave the CDT shots to the boy goats today. Um, they have to have that. Go ahead. Yeah, we gotta give it to them a week or two before they get weathered. So yeah. we plan on weathering them in like a week and a half. So yeah, so we'll be, uh, rubber banding. The boys here pretty soon and that uh before they go to their their new owner but uh, so she gave them their shots today and i think i'm gonna have to end this video now because we got to give the rest of the goats it's their time of year to get their cdt shot is that correct yeah yeah so we're gonna go ahead and give the rest of the goats their shot tonight so anyway that's it guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video so this morning is um, Sunday, April 19th. It is time to pick the winners for the Ariat giveaway. So we had $100 gift cards to Ariat.com uh, to give away. You had to make a comment on the giveaway video to enter to win. So we just got done picking um, the three winners on a random comment picker. So I've got their names right here. I apologize if I say your name incorrectly. I will flash it on the screen so you can see exactly how it's spelled on YouTube. So, the first winner is Marcy Rivest. The second winner is Julie Del Vecchio. And the third winner is Joan Davis. So, congratulations to the winners. Um, if you are one of the winners, you need to email me at countryviewacreshomestead at gmail.com. There will be a link in the description below. And uh, get in contact with me, and we will verify that you are the commenter. And then once we verify uh, you're the correct commenter, we will send you a $100 Ariat gift card uh, for you to use on Ariat.com. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, let's check the bucket trap again tonight. Hey, there's three more mice in there. Check this out. Yeah, they actually ate all the stuff off of one side. I guess I got the board so close that they can actually reach out there and eat off of that. But they must have slipped and fell because there's three more down in the bucket. So it's partially working.